Your manager wants you to churn out more high quality blog content, but isn't giving you any resources. What do you do? What's going on everybody? It's your dude Devin, and I'm gonna help you generate four high quality blog posts in under an hour using ChatSpot. Let's get started. If you saw the last ChatSpot video, you know we have some powerful templates in there. So today we're gonna to be utilizing quite a few of them. And if you hang on to the end, I have a special surprise for you. As you can see, we have ChatSpot open. What you wanna do is navigate over to templates and then you go down to marketing. If you look here, we have some gems. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is looking for keyword phrases. So the topic we're gonna be talking about today is smart homes, absolutely love them. Let's go ahead and jump in with smart homes. See what kind of keywords come up. These are good, I like them. What is a smart home? What is matter smart home? That's a big one. Most people who will work in smart homes, they wouldn't even think to create that as a second blog unless they're getting really deep into protocols. But it's nice to see that this many people are searching for it. A lot of these are starting to look repetitive. I can go back to templates and I can look for another keyword that I know a lot of people will search for, and that is home automation. These are great. What is home automation? What is matter home automation? We talked about that. How to automate your home. Do it yourself home automation. These are some great keywords. So what we're going to do is look through our history here. And I'll start with this one. What is a smart home? I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to go back over to templates. And we're going to go back into marketing. And let's see what some other related keywords are with this topic. Okay, I see where it's going for Google Home, which is a platform, Google Nest, which are some devices, Google Assistant. Okay, I'm seeing a trend here on what some of these related keywords are. So I'm going to do a little bit more keyword research, but in the interest of time, we're going to do a little movie magic and just skip forward to the good part. I've looked up some related keywords. I've found the platforms, Home Assistant, Home kit, that's from Apple, Alexa, but I've also come up with some really good key phrases. This one is one of my favorite, is home automation worth it? So what we'll do is we'll start with what is a smart home? I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. We're gonna make a blog to templates, marketing, and we're gonna generate a blog. First, it's gonna ask for our name. As you can see, the title of the company is Datalyze it, and I'm gonna go ahead and post my topic in there, and the call to action is going to be find out more. And it's given me a pretty decent blog. Here's something you should keep in mind. Whatever it generates, don't just copy and paste it to make it a new blog. You wanna make it your own. So we'll talk more about how to edit your blog in a bit. But first, there's something lacking. I, I, I really wanna use some of those keywords. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here I'm just going to select platforms, just these platforms. I'm going to copy them. And then what I'm going to do is I want it to incorporate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, put that on the end of it, paste, and let's see if it can work some magic. Look at that. It did a great job. So it's talking about what a smart home is. And it's also including these keywords with Home Assistant, Google Home, HomeKit, Alexa, and then it goes into the benefit. This is, this is really nice. Now, of course, like I said, I'm going to go back and wordsmith it. This is a really good title, but we'll see if we can do better. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the entire blog post. Just click on that button there. Then we're going to go to templates and we will go to marketing, blog title generator, and I want to make this a little bit more witty because that one seemed compelling. It was great, but let's see what witty looks like. Smart homes unleashed. We'll hang on to that. So what I'll do is I'll copy this. So what I need now are some images, something to really make the blog post pop. You don't just want it to be a white paper. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our templates and we're gonna go down to images. And as you can see, there are a lot of different styles to choose from here. Uh, let's start with the photograph style. What I want to do is I would like to see a man in his mid-50s holding a tablet 
to control his smart home. Let's see how that comes out. So you can see it already built a prompt out for me. Good. Nice. You know what? Let's let's switch this up a little bit. Let's make this a smiling man. Oh, these are lovely. So we got this guy's looking into the camera, all excited. So what we'll do is we're going to hang on to this one. I could move on, but I'm already here. Let's go ahead and play with some of these styles. So what we'll do is we'll copy this. We'll go to templates, images, and let's see what an anime style would look like. So we'll get rid of the prompt in its entirety. So we'll just leave us with what we want in the image description and we will generate it. <laughs> That's lovely. Now, the reason why I recommend playing around with some of these is because it may help you discover a brand voice or just images for your brand that you never considered. I would never have considered using an anime character to be my blog image, but I'm kind of loving it. So let, let's use this guy. He's wholesome. I, I mean, oh yeah, no, definitely. That's the guy. He's going to be in my blog. Now at this point, you know what we normally do. Open up Google Docs, open up WordPress, draft it out. That's great. But if you're a HubSpot user, let's scroll back up to our blog. We can just draft the blog in HubSpot. Wow, that was fast. It created it faster than I can scroll. So let's go check it out, see what it looks like. Unlock the magic of, it's doing it. Oh, but well, you know what? We did create a new title. There we go. And now I can incorporate the images. I can style it however I'd like. But even if you're not using HubSpot, using ChatSpot is a huge time saver. And I can do this over and over for all of these keywords and all of these key phrases that I've worked on. So like I said, the hardest part is figuring out what you want to talk about. ChatSpot can help you take it from there. But don't take my word for it. Try it out yourself. If you want to give it a go, just feel free to click the link in the description. But that's it for me, everybody. Until next time, take it easy.